short break. Today we are honoring Evelyn M. Witkin, who won the National Medal of Science in 2002, exactly 18 years ago today. So we brought her into the studio for an interview about her work in genetics on DNA mutagenesis and DNA repair. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad you're doing well. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you today? 99. I'll be 100 on March 9th. I was born in the year of 1921. Wow, that's impressive. So tell us about some of your work on scientific DNA discoveries and how you got started. I can see you're knitting a strand of DNA. Yes, just a pastime. Well, I started attending New York University at the age of 16. I ended up graduating with my master's degree in 1943 from Columbia University. I remained at Columbia University to work for my dear friend Theodo or Theodosis at the Cold Springs Laboratory. He asked me to write a paper on experimental evidence for multiple genes in Eucherichia coli bacteria. I thought this was fascinating and spent my summer research on it. So that was the beginning of it all. Now tell us about the breakthrough you made that created history. Well, I continued by learning that E. coli bacteria can mutate with UV lights. I continued to work on my thesis and learned that UV-sensitive E. coli cells became enlonged and inflammatous and were prevented from going through cell division before dying of UV radiation. Fascinating. Go on. I continued to work on genetics in Cold Spring Harbor. In the early 60s, I learned that E. coli could reverse and repair itself through dark exposure. This was important because we could tell the difference between it and photoreactivation. In 1970, with a bit of assistance from Miroslav Radman, we found something we called SOS replication. It was where the UV-induced block of cell division was from the inhabitation of a certain DNA enzyme that, if active, would produce mutations into DNA during the replication process. Can you give us an overview of that? <laughs> Basically, I worked to identify a control mechanism inside bacteria that seemed to display cellular responses to UV metagenesis. Wow, that's incredible. Now let's talk about your awards given to you for all the research you have done. I know today is the 18th anniversary of you winning the National Medal of Science. Up on the screen, we have a picture of that. Yes, yes it is. I was awarded the National Medal of Science from George Bush in 2002 for my work on DNA repair and DNA mutagenesis. It was definitely memorable. In 2015, I won the Wiley Prize for Biomedical Science, and that same year I received the Lasker Award for basic medical research, medical research. Although I think my favorite is when I became one of the first few women ever to be elected for the National Academy of Science in 1977. Wow, you really have like quite the inspirational life. Thank you so much for coming in and telling us about all the work and making history. Of course, thank you. That's it for today with Evelyn Whitkin. Stay tuned, we'll be back with the dog that broke TikTok. <laughs>